More than 10 million Americans experience domestic violence. Victims who have pets are forced to make a heartbreaking choice if they leave their abusive relationship. The I-Team learned only 15% of domestic violence shelters across the country are pet friendly. And about half of all domestic violence victims will delay leaving their abuse, abuser I should say, if the pet cannot go with them. New Center 7's Gabriel Enride shows us the problem and what's being done to solve it and explains how abusers use pets as pawns. He's my life. Bobby Creech is always with her 10-year-old dog Rex. We don't leave each other. He's with me everywhere I go. Together, since Rex was a puppy, the pair is bonded. I can look in these eyes and they love me unconditionally. The men that I've come across, they just want to hurt me. Bobby calls herself a domestic violence survivor. Where are you living? In my car. Also in her car are Rex and her three-year-old cat, Sabrina. There's nowhere to go with them. I never thought I'd be homeless. I never thought I'd be homeless with my pets. I try to find a, a hotel that accepts um, pets. Denise Henton, the CEO of Single Parents Rock, a nonprofit organization that supports domestic violence victims, is working to get Bobby support and shelter. But she admits, most domestic violence shelters are not set up to house animals, and often the only options for victims with pets include placing the animals with a foster family or leaving them behind. Most of the times, they are not willing to let their pets go. According to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, 71% of women in domestic violence shelters report their abuser threatened, injured, or killed a pet as a means of control. 50% of victims actually stay in abusive situations rather than leave their pet behind. 52% of survivors in shelters leave their pets with their abusers. And as many as half of those survivors return home because their abuser is using their pet as a means to get them back. That's my biggest fear that they they will go back to their abuser because they can take their pet. A question we ask is, is there pet abuse? Jane Kiefer, the executive director of Artemis Center, says a program called Safe Pets has been around for years. Because we know there's a high correlation of pet abuse and domestic violence. The program teams her organization up with places like the Animal Resource Center of Montgomery County and SIXA. If there's room, pets that belong to domestic violence victims are placed with a foster family for about a month. Um, it's not their loving family, but it's a family who's going to love and care about them for that short period of time. Jesse Sullivan, SIXA's Director of Adoptions and Alternative Services, told me last year SIXA took 300 calls about the Safe Pets program. That resulted in 22 temporary placements. The need outweighs the, the resources right now, but even what we're doing right now it isn't enough. I checked online and in Ohio, I found eight domestic violence shelters in the state that are considered pet friendly, but none are in the Miami Valley. That is about to change. We're gonna be making our shelter more accommodating for pets. Harmony Toma is a counselor and community relations coordinator at the Family Violence Prevention Center of Greene County. She said her organization applied and received a $46,000 grant from Red Rover, an organization that works to keep animals and people together in times of crisis. In March, a contractor will begin working on this. The design will include seven pet-friendly rooms, a family lounge with kennels, and a large fenced-in backyard. Um, but it's going to be a benefit. The humans are going to love having pets around. They really do strengthen. Um, people's ability to, to um, recover. Bobby Creech is hoping someday she won't have to start her morning with her animals in her car. And they're my children. They're what I get up for every morning. With the I-Team, I'm Gabrielle Enright, News Center 7. And for a list of pet-friendly domestic violence shelters across Ohio, you can check out whiotv.com. And News Center 7 will let you know when crews start construction at the domestic violence shelter of Greene County.